Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, and today I'm doing some wasp photography. Now, I wouldn't say I'm the best or most experienced wasp photographer out there. I'd say I'm kind of passable slash good. Uh, I'm definitely not a novice anymore, but I'm definitely not um, anywhere near the top tier um, of what you just see on Instagram, let alone in like magazines and stuff like that. Um, but today I have a bit of a motivation to be shooting, which is very fun. Um, a member of the community called Chronolytical, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is doing a giveaway. So the rules of this competition are very interesting. Um, and it's really refreshing to see a giveaway that isn't like, you know, what well, he says it himself, uh, isn't, you know, like this post, tag three friends uh, and share on your story. Um, he literally says this on his story post, which I think is great. He's very in touch with Instagram at the moment. <laughs> but his rules are here. Uh, rule number one, take a super creative and neat watch photo. Oh, it does say every Monday, a new week will start for the giveaway contest, uh, starting on the 16th of March. So we're a few weeks in now, uh, and I'm kind of, I did one entry at the beginning, um, but now the weeks have themes. Um, and last week's theme was water, which I couldn't really do anything with because I didn't have my softbox, uh, which I'm using to record this video right now. Uh, but I do have my softbox now, and the theme is basically shade uh, and shadows. So I'll get onto that in a minute, but rule number two, post the photo on Instagram and use the hashtag Chronolytical Cartier giveaway. Um, so there you go, he's giving away a Cartier, that's very cool. Uh, three, tag a few watch friends in the post and make sure you specify that it's for a Cartier tag solo. Um, that's fair enough, you wanna actually spread word about the giveaway. Uh, and I tag people in my post anyway, just so my friends see it and stuff like that. Um, four, uh, it says each Sunday I'll choose the top 10 photos I love um, and you'll vote on them in my stories. So it's basically going down to public vote at this point, so the top 10. Um, and the top two of the most votes will be entered into the giveaway at the end. Uh, so that's very cool. You kind of get a chance to win if you win a week uh, of the contest. Very interesting structure. And number five, our last week of the giveaway, which is the week ending on the 4th of July, I guess they're American, right? Uh, the top photos from each week will be entered in the vote in my stories, uh, with the final vote top two being on the 4th of July. So from that point, it's gonna work in kind of a tournament style until we get up to the top two. I think you might have changed this, so it's gonna be, you just vote on your favorite and it's not gonna go into like heats. Um, but this is the initial rules. You get the gist. Um, he says, here's what I'm doing this way. It keeps the watch within the community. I'm a big fan of that. I don't think I have the skills to win necessarily even this week. Um, but I think it's a good sentiment to try to keep the watch within the community. Uh, it stimulates creativity and it's a really fun way to win. Uh, I have to agree, if I took a really good photo and then won, I'd feel way better about myself than if I just, you know, tagged three friends and then got a DM a week later saying, oh, congrats, you're really lucky. Um, and it's actually made my feed way funner. And like looking at the hashtag Chronicle Cartier giveaway, it's just such fun. You should definitely go check it out if you're into watches. Um, and I think even after this giveaway is you know, done, that will still be there and it's still gonna be a legacy that it's a really cool set of photos. And there's some insane stuff on there already, which is a bit intimidating, um, but I'm gonna try my best. Three, it keeps a bunch of bot bots and nuts from following me and then unfollowing me when it's over. And lets me continue posting my own shots without filling my feed with contest posts. So this is very fair, like getting a load of bots following you or like people who are vaguely interested in watches, and it's good if you want to boost your follow number, but as you said, it's it's not really a permanent thing. Um, it's really fleeting, I guess is the right word. Um, and number four, let's me connect with new people in the community uh, and showcase some amazing talent. Um, I did actually follow him before this, but I saw um, someone I knew better on his story had entered a post. I think it was um, first joint space. He's entered a few times. So I then went and checked out his story highlights and everything like that. Um, and that was really cool to see. And then finally, he has some frequently asked questions, that sort of things. Um, one, he must be following me to win, fair enough. Two, a $100 Seiko has as much chance of winning as a $100,000 Langer. 
he basically doesn't care about your watch price. It's just all about the creativity and the passion in the photo. Um, if you want to participate but have a private account, create a burner account, makes sense. Number four, have fun. If you don't get a pic, don't get angry at me or anyone else. Yeah, photography subjectively says that. Five, you don't need a crazy setup to enter this. I am using a Sony A7 Mark I. It's a nice camera, it's not the fanciest thing ever, but I actually used to shoot on this iPhone, and actually an older iPhone, I used to shoot on iPhone 7 for a long time. Uh, this is an iPhone XS, I'm actually gonna be using this in this video uh, to film B-roll of myself shooting with the A7, which you guys are watching on now, um, because obviously I wanna give myself the best shot I can at trying to get a good photo. And then number six, I'm all about love, positivity, and passion for the community and what's about. If you're negative and a bit of a poop, please don't share it. Fair enough. Like, um, I could imagine this sort of thing getting really toxic and like really uh, cutthroat. Uh, but so far from what I've seen, this hasn't happened. Um, so I guess he's managing, he's managing to, you know, pull this off in a pretty positive way for the community, which I'm really happy about. And that's before I don't even guess the watch. So down to this prize, um, just as I think it's a great incentive. Um, it's a Cartier Tank W10 I'll throw a photo up on the screen now. Um, very generous giveaway for sure. This guy must be a serious collector. And from what I've seen from the community, this will be a popular prize um, for a lot of people. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch gears um, and show you what I've been doing. So the concept of my shop was really trying to get shade from these leaves because uh, I have lots of plants now and I'm really enjoying using them. Um, it gives everything a lot more of a, well, you know, less minimalist than my feet has been before, a bit more colorful, um, and I'm kind of enjoying doing that. Okay, so this is setup canon number one. I've got this white cabinet here, oh, sorry, white can top here. I like, I've got my A7 Mark One, which I normally film with. So I got telemetry extension. Uh, this is actually the kit lens for the A7. Uh, it's a pretty basic little camera, but it's actually really quite good at what it does or what it needs to do. Um, so the plan is to use the natural light coming in from the window to the left, uh, as well as a main light above me. Uh, it's just my only softbox I actually have. Um, it gets pretty tall, it probably gets seven foot tall um, with the light source at about six foot high. Um, and I'm hoping that's what I'm gonna be, used to be able to use to like cast the shadow over um, with the plant. I need to decide what watch I'm gonna shoot. So, I'll put this off here. Uh, I've got three watches I could shoot with. Uh, my Tudor, obviously pretty photogenic, pretty nice piece. Um, <laughs> really pretty easy to shoot with. So I think I'm gonna try to do something else. Um, I have a load of reruns watches back here as well in this watch room. Uh, but I'd rather shoot with one of the person watches, which leaves me with the uh, SKX-013. Um, with the bezel mod, which is probably one of my favorite pieces for daily wear. Um, and then again, my CWC G10, uh, which actually really massive paint photograph because it's got like this domed acrylic, um, which is original and therefore pretty chipped and scratched. Well, actually no, no big chips, but you know, um, as much as it's been poly washed, it's still gonna take a while to, well, it's, it's never gonna be perfect basically. Um, so I can cheat this, but it, it's a bit of a pain. So I'm probably gonna stick with one of these two. And I guess I'm probably gonna try out with the Tudor because I think shadows will show up better on the white car. That's the theory. Okay, now we're just going to time lapse of me kind of setting up this shot here. I set the watch to, I think 10.10 10 there. Um, and now I'm just seeing how my shadows come out. I later realized these shadows were kind of too soft to show up on camera nicely. I got some good shots, which I could end up using. Um, but ultimately, I think I want harsher shadows. Um, there's me showing what I got. Um, but, you know, I think a good first attempt and a good first setup. I did like it. I had the green leaves in the foreground giving some depth. Um, and the white countertop was quite nice. Um, but we'll see. Most of the watch photography I've been taught has been like really nice soft lighting, just lighting the watch evenly. Um, I do have a ring light and one soft box to do this with, so that's what I'm used to doing. So I wasn't really sure how to create harsh shadows. Um, initially what I did is actually, I'll show you. Oh. So 
So what I did is I, I did some research and apparently the smaller your light source, the harsher a shadow you'll project. So what I did is I got a, a, a Vans bag um, and I poked a little hole in it. So I've got this, this is the size of my, roughly the size um, of my softbox. Um, and this projected like a small circle, um, probably about this big over my cheetah. Managed to cast some nice shadows, but then I, it just wasn't lighting the washer the way I wanted. Um, so this was a, a good idea. Um, I then actually, during the day, uh, we get some really nice light for this window. Um, I just set this plant down and then I started playing with these. Now these are like uh, paint sample cards. Um, and initially I picked out this kind of like blue green palette because I, I like how it pairs with this gray strap. Um, but I was kind of advised um, that I want to go the opposite end of the color wheel. I'm not an artistic guy, but this yellow pairing gives nice contrast with this. Um, and I think it's nice because you have the shade of the plant on the watch. Um, and you also have different shades of yellow. So, a bit of wordplay, I'm not that creative. Um, but kind of an interesting thing. I think the shots came out okay. Um, and I'm really gonna try to edit these quite a lot to try to get the shadows nice and harsh. Um, but that was literally just with natural light and one light source. Um, so I was much happier with those shots than the um, harsh ones I did on the white cam stop. Okay, so here you can see me setting up um, these natural light shots, uh, initially with that kind of green blue palette, palette and then with this um, kind of nice yellow orange palette. Uh, I did end up liking the yellow orange more in the final shots and that's what I went for, uh, but I think both were good. Okay, now I've gone through all those shots and edited down, this is my final submission. I'm pretty happy with it, I'm pretty happy with the natural lighting. Um, could I have done better? Maybe if I had more time. To be honest, I left this kind of late in the week. I'm recording Friday at 7.50. Um, I'm planning to post this on Saturday and then the voting takes place on Sunday. Sunday is my normal upload time, but I want to get this done the day before. Um, some other things I want to touch on. I photographed my Tudor um, because right now it has like the cleanest crystal. Um, it's probably the best looking watch I have. I know he said, you know, watches don't matter, da da da. Um, I actually really don't like photographing my SKX on its Jubilee because when you lie this thing flat, it just like doesn't really sit right. And I didn't think the shadows would show up as well on the black dial. So Silver Dial Tudor uh, worked out well. But overall, I'm pretty happy. And this was a, a fun drive to make me shoot um, with my Tudor and with these color cards, which I didn't even know we had. Um, so overall, I'm really happy. Um, and I'm happy that Corona School is doing this, I think for the community. Um, his account hasn't even grown much, which is kind of wild to me. So if you're genuinely interested in watches, I would definitely go give him a follow. Uh, he has a really nice Seamaster Aquaterra World Time, I believe. Um, I'm a big fan of that watch. I just saw one of those in person the other day, mind blowing. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it from me. Follow me on Instagram at soundmill.s. It's all watch photos and stuff like this. Um, and sometimes, you know, polls, um, Instagram analytics, that sort of thing I'm kind of into. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I'm over 350 subscribers so that kind of snuck up on me. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the content and I'm trying to keep it fresh um, and not just make boring list videos for you guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you've learned maybe something about watch photography. Uh, I'm probably not the best for it. I am planning a follow-up video with a friend of mine, Gabe, uh, who's a really great photographer, and also my friend, Ben, who's, again, top-notch. And the plan for that is they'll be able to give you more um, pointed or uh, specific tips, uh, as opposed to my kind of wishy-washy guesswork. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, have a great day. And maybe go and vote for me on Crowley School Story, uh, although I don't think I'm going to get that far. It's still lots of fun.